What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. So, we're playing the Text Assist, and um, when I was filming the last episode, there was a point where I muted my microphone to take a drink, and I never unmuted my microphone. So, this episode, uh, all of my commentary will be done after I'm like the game recording, so it will be separate. So, I'm gonna try to like get into my head a little bit and try to sort of uh commentate after the fact and see how that goes it's not gonna go well this episode's gonna be trash um but yeah should be a fun time here we go all right so basically uh at the end of the last episode we went to the nightclub we fought matthew and we found out a little bit more about this slave trade thing um we found out there was some kind of cult or something they were, i think they were called satan's beasts um and within that is a, a vegan black metal band, uh, the trailblazers of this movement, the Morbid Wars, are considered the fathers of this extreme metal genre, born from the ashes of the vegan Satanist cult, the Satan Beasts. Okay, so that's a, that's a real thing that somebody put into a video game. Great. All right. Um... So we asked Magda about this, and uh, she goes on to say that this band is actually pretty dope. Pretty sure she says it's pretty hype, actually, but whatever. And um, we then um, we then go on to the uh, the computer to find out where this band is going to be playing, and that is going to lead us into. Um, what well, turns into our next battle after I can find out, uh, after I can find out exactly how to get on stage with them, which does take me a hot minute. All right. So we get to the place, right? And, uh, it's a metal concert. So, you know, you've got like your loud noises, you've got your screaming fans over here. You've got, uh, this generator because they're in like an underground place so they don't actually have power but so like i can't get to the stage because the fans are in the way so i have to try to talk to this guy and uh he can't hear me because you know loud music and whatnot and the priest is not happy so we go over here and you know like um maybe i'll talk to the bartender maybe he knows something and that's uh doesn't really get us anywhere except it just shows us another character flaw with Ray here that he uh would kill for a drink despite being a man of the club. And uh we do then we have to talk to another fan over here cuz I can't do anything with the generator yet. I figured out the generator is the issue, but I can't do anything with it yet. So I uh, just the next person that I can talk to see if there's anything here and once again he can't hear me so what's a poor little priest to do right and then i found out i can kick there i didn't find i accidentally stumbled upon the kick command which actually it was pointed out to me after the last video that there was a command to try to like defuse the bombs on the dance floor at the nightclub but anyway so i shut the power to the concert and the singer is not happy about it at all. Um, so we basically have this conversation where um, uh, <laughs> shit. Okay, we basically have this conversation where I explain that I know exactly what's going on because I know kind of what's going on. And I know that these guys are apparently a part of it, so why not? So he invites me up onto the stage, and the crowd does clear a path for me. And he basically tells me to meet him backstage which is where the next battle is going to commence. And it's going to be amazing. 
Yeah, he he. Uh, if you notice on the screen, he doesn't want to fight me in front of the fans. He doesn't want to get his hands dirty in front of his fans. And then he explains that he is Enoch Varg, the devil's son, and uh, apparently I'm going to pay. So we get the battle started. And um, I I was trying to, like, move around and type one-handed, and I realized that my hand-eye coordination isn't good enough to do that. So, like, I can't, I can't type words one-handed and move with the other hand. And you notice I have a lot of trouble with that. Like, I feel like there are points where you can tell where I'm trying to do that and where I'm trying to just type my ass off to try to get this, like, just as many words out of the way as possible before they spray shit. And I also realized it's impossible to, uh, when you, when they spray all over like that, I have yet to not lose a heart at that point. Um, so you'll notice I'm definitely way behind here, and it doesn't look very helpful. I keep losing the book. Every time I pick up the book, I lose it again. And I'm just, I'm getting hit left and right there. I lost another heart. Now I can't pick the book up. This is terrible, right? This is this is so bad. So yeah, I died the first time. It's it's pretty ugly. So I go on to do this fight like four more times, right? And it's it looks rough. I keep dying. It doesn't look good for me at all. I can't stay focused. Or not stay focused, but like I can't just I can't keep up with the trouble they're giving me. And, and it took me to like this, like one of the, like the last tries of the night to get to this point where it was really weird. They started like making me sing and it was like, this is rockin' roots. And there's one that says like highway to health. And I'm not real sure. I think, I don't know if it heals you if you get the words right or what, but, uh, that's a pretty neat thing. Um, but also, right after you sing, they shoot out uh, very stationary things. And I did notice that that's a lot easier because it's stationary, so it's easier to avoid. So you don't really have to worry about it. Um, and then they shoot these weird... <laughs> those crosses, so wow. Oh man, this is such a, uh, such a fight. This took me so many tries. And I, I thought this was going to be the point where I was like of no return thought this was going to be where we ended this run but uh man was it a journey it was an emotional roller coaster i really wished that i had the original audio for this it was so intense and you could like you could hear like the insane heartbeat just in the sound of my voice like how look at this look at look at all those dots there's no way to avoid all those dots it's ridiculous and those crosses that so rough and it was awful. I would just, like, die time and time again battling this thing. I did eventually get him down this far to where he's he's got one health bar left. I've got one health bar left. And it's, you know, it's down to this moment. And it really gave me a boost of energy. It really gave me a boost of excitement. I thought there was a lot of hope for me. I kept getting hit by shit, and there was a little less hope. But it was it was going. It was something. And I uh, I totally just couldn't find the letters and you can see where like I put my hand back down on what I thought was home row and it wasn't home row and you can see that just in like the red letters when I mess up where they're all like if my fingers were in the right place they would have all been the right letters like they're all just like one off like one to the left or one to the right and it was making me so mad oh man it's easily it's one of the most frustrating games I've ever played but it it's it's so rewarding after the fact. It really is. So we do eventually beat this guy though, and uh, he gives us some important information as well. He's all like, "Man, what'd you do to us?" And I'm all like, "You were possessed." And he's like, "I'm not possessed." And I was like, "Well, then what was going on there?" And he's like, "It's our music, man. We're vegans, and we want to have some fun, and we wouldn't hurt a fly, and we respect animals and nature. Oh, and we're vegan because they're vegan." And uh, I ask him about the girls, and he's not very helpful. They were apparently the band's groupies, as stated here. 
Um, he knows nothing about them being slaves. And he says something about the Holy Church being in on it. So apparently they were at a convent with uh, a name named after a saint starting with a T. But that was really all of the information that he knew. So from there we go back to the house. And it's uh, November 14th, 1990X. Sure, sure. And uh, so we go to the journal, and that explains to us what he just told us, that we're looking for a convent named after a saint starting with a T. And Magda might know about it. So we ask Magda about it, and she's not very helpful at all. Um, so we have no other choice except to go onto the computer and search our favorite search engine, Godel. To find a list of whole, like a holy church directory. And uh, from there we go to the T's and we find that it's the convent of St. Terentius. And we will go there at the beginning of the next episode. That'll be it for this one. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one.